everybody. In this video, we are going to prove that every convergent sequence is bounded. I have another video on the same proof with text explanation that is linked in the description box down below. But if you li like voice explanation, then just keep watching the video. Yeah, please subscribe. It won't hurt. So to start the proof, we are taking a random convergent sequence AN. But what is a convergent sequence, you may ask? So the answer is every sequence that approaches to a limit after a certain value is a convergent sequence. Like 1 by n for instance, it approaches 0 as n increases and approaches to infinity. I mean 1 by 1000 is more closer to 0 as compared to 1 by 100 or 1 by 900. So increasing n makes 1 by n more closer to 0. That's why 0 is its limit and that makes 1 by n a convergent sequence. So as we supposed an is a convergent sequence then that means that an has a limit right? So let's say a is its limit and an approaches a as n tends to infinity which is written mathematically right here. Now we are going to use the definition of limit. What is the definition of limit is for a sequence you may ask. So the answer is a sequence an is said to have a limit a if for any epsilon greater than 0 there exists n naught belongs to n such that mod of an minus a is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to n naught. Now what is epsilon here? Epsilon is a very 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 small positive number that is just greater than 0 and what is n naught? So n naught is any natural number not specified it changes with epsilon. So what it means is no matter which small positive number epsilon you take there exists a natural number n naught and when n gets greater or equal to n naught the distance of n term of sequence from its limit gets even smaller than your chosen epsilon. Let me explain it with an example. If we look, if we look into the sequence 1 by n, you can see 1 by n is getting closer and closer to 0 as n is increasing. So even if we take epsilon as 0 0.009 for instance, there must be values of 1 by n that are smaller than 0 0.009 as we increase n so we can easily find n naught and we say 0 is the limit of this sequence. I hope you get the gist. So using that definition of uh, limit we can say for any epsilon greater than 0 there exists n naught belongs to n such that mod of a n minus a which is distance between nth term of a sequence to its limit is a smaller than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to n naught. Now using this property of, of inequality of real numbers we know that mod of a minus mod of b is less than or equal to mod of a minus b. So we get this which implies that uh, mod of a n minus mod of a is less than uh, epsilon for all n greater than or equal to n naught which gives us mod of a n is less than epsilon plus mod of a just taking mod of a on the right side of the inequality. Now we move towards boundedness of a sequence. What is a bounded sequence? A sequence a n is said to be bounded if there exists m belongs to the real numbers such that mod of a n is less than or equal to m for all positive natural numbers and belongs to positive natural numbers which means all the terms of sequence a n are less than or equal to the bound m. So to find a bound for a n let's take the maximum of all of its values because all the values of a n are lesser than the maximum value right and we call it m. We you, you might ask here uh, you might ask why we have mod of a plus epsilon here. So it's because when uh, n is greater than or equal to n naught mod of a n is less than mod of a plus epsilon 
so we have all the values from a1 to a n not minus 1 and for values greater than n not we know mod of a n is less than mod of a plus epsilon you can understand this concept here uh, in this way that all the values of a n are less than or equal to the maximum value of a n and and as we have seen that mod of a n is less than epsilon plus mod of a for all n greater than or equal to n naught so epsilon plus mod of a is also less than or equal to m because m is taken from all the values of a n and not just greater than n naught so with all that being said we got that mod of a n is less than or equal to m for all n which means a n is a bounded sequence since a n was a random convergent sequence and now we have proved that it is bounded to so we have proved that every convergent sequence is bounded hence proved please like comment and subscribe to my channel you know i will appreciate that i will see you all in my next video bye